Wesley Calderon says, just wanted to clear something up. We didn't boo Trey. We booed banana hands. Oh, no, sorry. We booed banana hands play calls for Trey in the first half. Hope to meet you, Grant, and talk facts one day. Same to you, Wesley. Uh, good to know. And I think that was the appropriate um, response. Like, we're here to see Trey Lance play. Will you please unleash him? Because I think everyone kind of sensed Kyle Shanahan's apprehension in the first half. I pretty much didn't take the shackles off until he was forced to in that two minute drive. It was a 30, no, 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 it was 38 seconds left in the first half, right? Yeah. I think it was 38 seconds. I think they got the ball back with two, two minutes and went three and out. So it was like, yeah. I was surprised. I was surprised he actually let him go for it on a drive. Like, I, I, I almost thought that he was just going to like run the ball and, Going to halftime. If they were facing a team with any offense whatsoever, they would have done that. But it was clear that Houston wasn't going to do anything. So I think it was like, I mean, <laughs> you know, oh, well, give it a shot. Trey got better as the game went on, Trey area. I think Kyle got better as the game went on. And it's not that Kyle was like a coward, The way, although he, he wasn't aggressive. It's just he doesn't – he didn't want Trey to lose the game against Houston right off the bat. Uh, he wanted Houston to lose it first. And – uh, he doesn't, again, really have a great feel for calling games with Trey yet, but he seemed to figure it out a lot better in the second half, so that's something. It, yeah, this is one of the things. It's it's If Kyle is forced to play Trey, he might start, I think he will, start to get more comfortable with him. And he's. we talked about earlier in this cast is it, a lot of it, it's a Kyle issue. It's not a Trey Lance issue. Right. Kyle needs to be comfortable right. and right. calling plays for him. Right. Yes. And now and this injury is forcing him to do so. Yes. Lucas Bissell says, are the Rams guaranteed a playoff spot? And if so, is there any chance they play backups? Yes, they are guaranteed a playoff spot, I believe, but they're not guaranteed a a, a home game in the first round. And right. They, they have something there. to play. They have they something have to, to play, play for. for. Yes. Good question. And not not only that is I think they probably they probably would uh love to knock the 49ers out of the playoffs. Um, considering the Niners have had their number the last couple of years. Tinker says, take Cooper Cup out of the game, blitz all night, playoff bound. The thing is, the Niners didn't take Cooper Cup out of the game last time. Cooper had a big game. The Niners yeah. just went up early because of two fluky interceptions, two picks. They went up early. The game was out of hand in the first quarter. That's probably not going to happen again. Can the Niners uh, – win a tight game that's close the whole time and take Cooper Cup out. Not sure. I'm going to disagree with what's part of that is you don't want to blitz all night. Like you want to pick yeah. your spots when to blitz. You don't want to get Ambry, Ambry and, and Josh yeah. Norman singled up on, on right. those receivers. Um, you have you a good pass rush. Let them, go to, let them go to work. Mo Dollars gives – always here with Mo Dollars. Says every loss has been the same reasons. Bad penalties, bad Jimmy, bad special teams, no accountability. This team – sweeps their issues under the bed. To me, the Niners' issues are two things. Jimmy, I mean, they're one in six when he throws a pick. Jimmy and Kyle's decision-making. Jimmy's out now. So 50% of the Niners' problems are out the door. <laughs> I trust Trey's decision-making more than more than Jimmy's. Um, but I still don't trust Kyle in a big game. I still think he's his own worst enemy, and this is a huge game. And I know who owns Sean McVay, but I'm just curious to see like what erratic decision is Kyle Shanahan going to make in this game? Because, I don't know. It's his pattern. I felt like his his pick wasn't a bad decision. It was a bad throw. Like that's I feel what he like said too. Made- that's what he said too. I agree with him. He's like I, I I defend that decision. It was a bad throw. I short armed it. Had I put it where I wanted to, no, I'd be upset right now. That's what he said. So okay, confident answer. Yeah, confident answer. How many yeah. PI calls for Norman this week? Because if you remember, also. It's a shot play to Kittle. It's not like a full field read. That Y leak is pretty much you hit him or throw it away. It's not like that's the way I look at it. It's a shot yeah. play, not a full progression. Right. How many PI calls for Norman this week? Uh, zero. Hopefully he doesn't play. <laughs> no way the Niners win six in a row against the Rams. That's tough. It's tough. That's another reason I'm saying I think the Rams would rather face Jimmy. Is they're thinking there's no way this mediocrity beats us six in a row. There's no way. Because they're not, he's not, he's not the reason the Niners are beating us. It's Elijah Mitchell, Debo Samuel. Like, we got to be able to do what Tennessee did at, at some point. No? Yeah, I, I do like, think, right. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. I feel a Lance v. Stafford shootout coming. I don't. I feel a low-scoring game coming. I'm no, taking the, 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 the Niners. Over under. 
The Niners don't want to play that game. They do not want Lance in a shootout. They they want to Dude. control the pace of the game. They want him to make some big plays. They and they want him to not turn the ball over. It's a rookie quarterback in a playoff esque game. He's played three games in the last twenty four months. Come on, there's a reason they want Jimmy Garoppolo to gut it out with an injury. Like there's a reason, but they're gonna you know in spite of themselves, they're gonna play the right guy, and they just he just might he just has to manage the game. Yeah, take some shots early, be aggressive, but you don't have to throw a lot. You don't have to throw a lot, but 25 throws, but don't it, not a bunch of dinks and dunks early on like this last game. You need to take your shots early and make a statement and back that, yeah. that defense off and run the ball. Yeah, I will I will say that 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 Lance does add a certain because of his unpredictability, he does yeah. have a, add a certain layer that um to that especially in this scenario where they can where they're going to have to if they win, they're going to have to play the Rams again more than likely the following week. So um, it, it's going to add a, it, it's going to, it's going to really affect the next two games if they, that ends up happening. Yeah. Also, I feel like, uh, you know, Jimmy matches up well with the Rams because his quick release kind of negates the Rams pass rush a little bit. Well, as we saw in the second half with Lance, a big thing with him is going to be that like pocket movement off play action. And that'll get him away from my Aaron Donald too. Like there's going to be a lot of ways to negate Aaron Donald in that pass rush without Jimmy Garoppolo. You can get, Lance on the perimeter. He gets out there so fast. He really accelerates very well off the play action stuff. Flips his hips around quickly. He's a he's really good at it. And I think that's a one way to negate Aaron Donald. And he, a, he, he, a, he and he attacks the line of scrimmage looking to throw.